Hi guys! Hi guys! Welcome back again to my channel and now I'm going to discuss about the difference between connotative and denotative meaning. So in three, two, one, let's go. Denotative meaning refers to the conceptual meaning of a word. It is the plain or central meaning of a word. It is a type of a meaning that is easily to express in terms of componential features. Example, the denotative meaning of a man can be expressed in terms of human and adult. The denotative meaning of a word is said to be its literal objective meaning. In addition to denotative meaning, a word may also have a connotative meaning. Connotative meaning is a kind of additional, suggestive, personal, or cultural meaning. If we regard denotation as an objective meaning on a word, connotation can be regarded as a subjective meaning. Connotatively, a woman can be regarded as a man to suggest that she has the attributes of a man. Connotation points to the associative or figurative dimension of word meanings. This feature is of particular significance in poetry, where poets use words not only for their literal meaning but also for what they suggest. In addition to the appealing to the connotative dimension of word meaning, we should also note the use of such figures of speech as metaphor, personification, simile, and hyperbole. A figure of speech is figurative language in the form of a single word or phrase. It can be a special repetition, arrangement, or omission of words with literal meaning, or a phrase with a specialized meaning not based on the literal meaning of the words. A metaphor is an implied simile. It does not like the simile that state that one thing is like another or act as another, but takes that for granted and proceeds as if the two things were one. For example, the camel is a sheep of the desert. In personification, inanimate objects and abstract notions are spoken of as having life and intelligence. Personification occurs when the author or speaker gives human characteristics to non-human objects. In a simile, a comparison is made between two objects of different kinds which have, however, one point in common. The simile is usually introduced by words as like, as or so. In hyperbole, a statement is made emphatic by overstatement. For example, I've told you a million times.